everybody, welcome to another exciting episode of the Philippine Stars Wheels Season 3. I'm Mateo Richelli, I'm your host, and today's gonna be a little different because I'm gonna be joined by the master of wheels himself, Manny, right there. What's up, Manny? Hi, hi, Mateo. Hey, okay, great to see you again. Ah, I missed you, man. Thank you very much for joining me. Yeah, glad to be here. We have this BMW M2 series right in front of us, right here. And I'm very, very excited because it's been a long time I haven't been on BMW. I'm, I usually notice the M3s. Yes. But the M2 something else. No? Yeah, it's actually the M235i. Wow. And it's the flagship of the 2 Series range. And it's in the top 10 this year. For of Car and Driver magazine. This is actually a throwback to the original late great 2002 BMW of the 60s. Okay. Yeah, if you look at the proportions, the long hood, the very short rear deck. Right. And the driver's seat is almost all the way the back. to the back. I like it personally. And I see the, the mags are nice already, no? Yeah, very nice. And look at those big brakes. Whoa. And then you've got spoilers front and back, a diffuser at the rear. Would you like to take a drive? I would love to. Can I drive? Sure. Wow, thank you. Let's go. Guys, follow Manny and I. Let's take a drive with the M2. Let's do it. The M235i. Why, why is it an i? Well, the i is for injection. Um, BMW started that that um, i thing when they went fuel injection in the 70s. This M2. What's 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 nice about this? What's special about this? Well, this is the the flagship of the 2 series. Okay. And uh, with that and with that M label, it's the performance car. Okay. I actually would consider this a poor man's M3 because right. it harks back to the original M3, which is a very compact but very powerful three-cylinder right. car. And a very sporty. Uh, Six-cylinder car. Yeah. I actually like the the throwback um, handbrake lever. I like it more rather than the, the, the push and pull type of the newer cars. Right, right. You can even do some fancy handbrake turns with this. Oh man, that's what I noticed also, because some of the new cars now, they don't even have handbrakes anymore. Yes, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's a foot brake or automatic brake. But this one, it's nice that they kept the handbrake there, yeah. but you can do your little tricks and everything. Yeah. Uh, so it, it makes the car more fun. Yes, definitely. This fun is what this car is all about. And I love the seats. I love how the interiors are. I love the detail and the red the red seats. I love it. Do they come in different colors? Or yeah, they do. It? They do. They come in different colors. You can get an all black, uh, but the, uh, the red trim on the black interior is really nice. Yes, very, very nice. Really nice. And you can shift gears also here behind the... Yeah, you have paddle shifters wheels. there. And of course, it's already automatic. You don't need to put a key inside. It's just a push button, start and stop. How do you find the seats? It's nice. I mean, personally, me, I like it. You know, it has the, the sporty bucket feel seats in it. What, how do you find it? Asa? Yeah, it's perfect, at least for our size. Right. I'm not so sure about the back seat. It looks a bit tight, but... I'd still prefer a 2 plus 2 arrangement over a straight 2 seater because you never know when you have someone and then two additional friends want to join you. You can always do that in this car but never in a 2 seater. So it still has that semblance of practicality. And it, I think this is a powerful car, yeah? like we're, we can't, we're not pushing right now but I feel the throttle, I feel, I feel there's something in there. Yes. Well, um, it's a turbo 3 liter, developing 330 horsepower. 330? So 330. Wow. And 450 Newton meters of torque. It's 4.8 no. seconds from 0 to 100. Wow. Mm. Yeah, there's a little bit. Nice, huh? Yeah, and the sound, and the the sound engine, is there. Yeah, I think the BMW makes the best sounding six cylinder engine. Yes, that's true. Have you tried driving this in the racetrack? We actually got to drive one last year in Clark Speedway. Okay. And it felt very stiff. It felt like a proper race car. It handled fantastically well. I actually turned the stability control off, off. and well, I was sideways before I, I knew what I was doing. <laughs> That's a fun thing. That's it's a fun thing. fun, yeah. If you were expecting it. Right. Hello, Angel. 
Angel. Well, welcome aboard the Lux Bus. 